The most important part of your portfolio is not your call to action. It's not images or strong copy. It's not impressive animations, and it's not even reviews or testimonials. The single most important part of your portfolio is your past work, and more specifically, a large enough variety of past work that one of those projects resonates with your prospect. Your goal is to show them something they like so much that they stop and say, I want something just like that. So your main focus should be having a respectable number of really solid projects that have a variety of styles, layouts, colors, and fonts to increase your chances of catching the attention of your prospect. Now, there are tons of different ways for you to lay out your projects in your portfolio, but they can really be broken down into just six different styles. Full screen, slider, cards, bento, list, and video and animation. So in the next couple of minutes, I'm gonna give you tons of A plus examples of each one of these styles. And I think you're gonna find a lot of inspiration from the examples that I share. The first style is full screen. This just means that you're using the entire viewport to show a single project. This is a great way to draw attention to just a few of your best ones. If you want, you can also throw in some project details or even a client testimonial. But the most important part is utilizing all of that real estate to show off that single project. Now be aware that this strategy does require the user to scroll a lot, but it's worth it if your work is really engaging. They will appreciate the large images that help them see more of the project. The next style is using a slider. This is a killer way to show lots of projects without the user needing to scroll at all. This allows the user to decide exactly how many projects they wanna see. And when you consider that every scroll you're losing site visitors, this is a perfect way to show a lot of projects before people leave your site. If people have to scroll more than a few times in order to see your projects, you're going to lose most of them. The next style is using cards. This is one of the most common layouts to show your projects and for good reason. There are a lot of different styles and variations that you can use within this, but the basic concept is separating projects into different cards so you can show a lot of them together. Usually these are displayed in a two or three column layout and then if you click one, it's going to take you to the individual case study page. Now on these ones, just make sure that your thumbnail image actually shows the project, not just a generic stock photo of the industry or a client logo. People wanna see the actual project and a lot of people are never going to click to read the case study. So this thumbnail image should show as much of the project as possible. Don't make people work too hard to see your work. I want to pause for just a second to mention that inside my private community, Pate Pro, we have a full training on how to design the perfect portfolio. This training breaks down your homepage and your case study pages and shows you how to create a high converting portfolio. So if you want to check out that training and get feedback on your portfolio, just go to PatePro.com. The next example is the bento grid. Bento grids are super popular right now. This style is very similar to using cards, but the way that you display them is a bit unique. The nice part about these is they don't all have to be projects. You can also work other content into your bento grid like testimonials, calls to action, and even some other social proof or numbers to show off. Like some of the other examples, the bento grid is a great way to show a lot of information and a lot of projects in very little space. The next style is using a list. Now to effectively use this style, you'll probably need some type of hover effect. This is definitely a unique way to show off your work, but I personally am not the biggest fan of this because it does require work from the user to see each project. I prefer showing all of my work with minimal input required from the user in terms of scrolling, clicking, or hovering. Now with that said, I have seen some portfolios that do this really effectively. Now the final style is using videos or animations. This might be the best way to show off your work. A video or animation draws a lot of attention with movement and it can show an entire project without the user needing to click, scroll, or read. The downside of this is these can be a lot of work to make. So at the very least, I would recommend adding some sort of hover effect that makes the website move as you hover over it. This can easily be done in a tool like Webflow or Framer. The other thing you can do is just record your screen. These don't have to be high production quality in order to be effective. Now the cool part about all these styles is you can use a variety of these throughout your portfolio, as long as you keep just a few things in mind. Number one, you wanna show as much of your work as you can in as little space as possible. Number two, assume that people aren't going to click through and read your case studies. This means that your thumbnail images have to be really powerful and descriptive. Number three, don't overwhelm your user with tons of animations. Keep it simple and get to the point. 
And number four, make sure you have a wide variety of different types of projects. Look at your own portfolio, look through all of your different projects and ask yourself what you're missing. You might be missing a project within a specific industry or style or color. You don't have to wait for a real client project in order to fill that gap. You can easily create a practice project to display in your portfolio. Now, if you'd like me to take a look at your portfolio site, you can always drop a link down below this video. I'd be happy to take a look at it and comment back to you. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.